So I just gave uh, a talk last week in Jacksonville, and the the premise of the talk, I'll get summarize it quickly in the last few minutes, is you know to stop chasing kind of the the silver bullet, the shiny thing that's going to solve all of our problems. So I love the the startups and the the new solutions that are being brought to the market, and I love working with new startups, you know, Israel's got them. I obviously, uh, I've worked with some startups in Ireland and Spain and the U S and I love the energy around that. And at the same time, we can get very distracted on what are we actually doing in our security programs? Do I need this new thing? This new thing that something's trying to, you know, solve for is that, is that one of the fundamental controls that I need to be paying attention to? So Going back to that talk at, in Jacksonville, I presented kind of the 13 controls that I think are foundational to a security program, and I've used them over and over and over. And yes, you can use newer technology in some of those controls. At the same time, especially if you don't have budget for it, then focus on the foundational elements. So for example, you know, patch management, we all love it, we all hate it. But if it's not done correctly, like forget about almost everything else. You're going to be compromised, right? And you got to have, let's talk about this. You got to have a good working relationship with your technology operations team because the security team's not doing that work typically. You're, you're monitoring it, but you, you have a team, uh, typically a team elsewhere in the company that's actually doing the patching and the remediation work. So again, going back to relationships, but focusing on some of the basic fundamental control elements of a security program versus chasing the thing that's going to solve all of our problems.